they'll, they'll let people lock them up and then they can get out of it just like that. And Houdini could get out of just about anything you put him in. You could build him a box and nail him in it and he'd still get out. <laughs> Like that. You can tie them up with a hundred feet of rope. You can go right off. Cut, cut people in half and then put them back together. It's just a trick though. I moved to Colon uh, when I was about uh, 11 years old, so I was constantly exposed to, uh, to, to pretty good magic. We're in a different time zone here um, than most places. We're uh, in the 1950s uh, still, and uh, we're about 40 years behind everybody. Uh, we don't even have a McDonald's in Colon, and we do have uh, a large population of Amish that live in and around the area, and uh, they're actually uh, they're in, a, in a time zone several decades behind that still. So. This weekend is the uh, 70th annual Abbott Magic Get-Together. Uh, we've been doing it since 1934. We've only missed a couple of years because of wars and things like that, but uh, our town doubles in size as we bring in about a thousand magicians from all over the world to uh, our small little town here in uh, southwest Michigan. We like to come together and uh, show off for each other and say, hey, my wand's bigger than yours kind of a thing. We have a good time doing it. <laughs> when you've grown up on the Abbott's Magic Get Together, it's hard to, to appreciate other, other conventions because it's just not the same. Ours is, is so, much, so much different from the rest of them.